What's up, everyone? So I'm doing reactions again, which is kind of uh, weird, but at the same time, that's fine. Um, I found out like a new way to do this shit, and hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully it's good. I, I don't I don't know for sure for sure, but I'm gonna be reacting to ghost videos. And literally behind the camera, it's like completely dark with like a red tint or whatever. So this could be either bad or good. I I don't know, but you know, let's 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 get into it. This next video was recorded by a man named Javier oh, from Jesus. Argentina. Javier says that he was worried about his friend Antonio as he hadn't heard from him in a while. So uh, he drives over to Antonio's house to check up on his friend. Javier bangs on the front okay. door. All right. No one answers. He calls out Antonio's name. Again, no answer. Well, then fucking so, leave. So Javier climbs over the wall into Antonio's backyard and goes to the back door of the house. Why? For some reason, the door is open. Fearing the worst, Javier goes inside to investigate. Nah. What happens next Duh, you is downright chilling. Nah. No. Antonio! Oh, shit. Fuck this. I'm not... What's that? Oh shit! I thought that was eyes. I thought that was eyes. Antonio. Yo, how you just gonna step in your man's house like that? Nah. 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 This ain't happening, dog. What? No. Hey. Why are you even stepping in there? What if he left? What if he met some chick at a club and? And you're just in his house. I don't have friends that close. Well, Tonyo, Sucho. Yeah. Javier. Did that hey. shit just fucking close? Now you just grabbing shit off this man's table? Hey, loco. Nah. Hey, Javier, what up? I'm out. I don't give a fuck. Nah. That's... Did that just close by itself? Che, loco, so bojo. Is that you? Ya fue, boludo. Duh, I... Onda? ¿Cómo anda? I have friends that would do this bien? to me, so... Nah. Y'all tripping. Che, loco, si yo vos salí. No. You know, I'm gonna be like, fuck you, bitch. I'm out to Taco Bell. I don't, I don't got time for this shit. Oh, it's still all right. Use a bitch ass motherfucker. That's what you is. I'm out of there. I already know what's going to happen. Javier doesn't know what is going on and he doesn't want any part of it. He decides to just leave the house and call the police. Great. But just as he's about to exit, he hears a strange sound from somewhere behind him. The next 30 seconds are like something right out of a nightmare. Okay. Y'all better be, y'all quit playing. See, I have friends that would. Hell to the gnaw. Oh, Did you see it? A door swings open by itself and what? someone or something with glowing eyes seems to peek over the oh. upper glass of the door, seven feet in the air. Javier has had about enough and just makes a nah. run for it. He nah, says that I'm whoever good. or whatever this was, it certainly was not his friend Antonio. How do you know that? After calling the police over to the residence, Javier learns that his friend has tragically passed away inside the house just behind that door that he couldn't open. Javier is so upset and confused by the whole ordeal that he just can't let it go. He decides to return to Antonio's house in search of answers. It did not go well. What answers are you gonna find? Yeah. Oh, is that a rat? I don't like that. Hello, Joe. I'm not really scared of anything. Fucking rats. 
No, 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 Escalofrío frío estar acá, se siente. Ay, se siente una carga. Un poco ay, pesada, ay, ay. qué sé yo. Yeah, somebody fucking eh, died. Eh. Ay, mierda. Did the lights go off? No. no. ¿Qué pasó? What's what's the black square? Hey, oh, hey. hey. Yo. ¿Quién yo. ¿Quién anda ahí? See, they they tripping on this dog because Yeah. That's crazy. Yo, how did Why are you still there? Yeah, like... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call bullshit on this one, dog. Why are you in the bathroom? What? Why is it... Yo, I... Who was the guy who went into the room? And secondly... Hey, hey! Dog, hey. hell nah! <laughs> There was a cut. There was a cut in there. That was good. That was good. I'll give it to this. I, I just don't like the black fucking bar that's on the height. Like, if some dude came out the wall, and that'd be that, crazy. Javier is done. He leaves the house, and to this day, he claims that he has no explanation for what happened inside. I mean, that was pretty good. A house without history. That was pretty good. A family living in Kansas City, Missouri are away from home one night when their Nest security camera captures something truly bizarre. What happened? A shadow-like figure about the height of a child can be seen moving from the upstairs bedroom. The figure doesn't appear to walk or run, but rather float at a high speed before it just disappears into thin air. Or the resolution A small childlike voice can be heard calling out, Help. Yeah, that sounds like my nephew. The family has never experienced anything paranormal before. Hey, so they have no the idea no. just what this could be. The house was only built 15 years ago, and they've searched That's online, crazy. but they can't find any strange history about the house or land. So just what is this? Uh, Let me know what you think. The plan B gone wrong? We need scary videos. So if you see anything that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The uninvited guest. A family on Rote Island in Indonesia are gathered to celebrate a birthday when one of the guests captures something truly chilling on camera. All right. What? Oh, oh. I thought I saw the grandma in the, the A strange uninvited guest can be seen looking into the window watching That's just the a crackhead That's not even Now without a source we'll never know exactly what's going on here Yeah that's not a so, ghost That's somebody who wants think. like some money So that's I thought it was the grandma on that side All right. Cave well. crisis. Alex Cantrell from the YouTube channel Underground Explorers is invited to explore a cave on his friend's ranch in Texas. Okay. But the cave is partially submerged in water, making it very difficult to enter and explore. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that this video is not exactly anything paranormal, but it is very scary and 100% real. It's especially scary if you're even the slightest bit claustrophobic. Now, in accordance with YouTube guidelines, I want to stress, no one was seriously injured in this video. The following footage was recorded by a professional cave diver. Do not attempt to do this yourself. All right, so Alex is joined by a few of his friends as they begin to explore the so frightfully this isn't scary? small cave. All right, who's got the oxygen meter? I don't see that. Uh, look at this. We got an oxygen meter now? So people won't be mad at me? So what all does that show? Carbon monoxide? Uh, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide, and a little oxygen. Cool. 
pretty much everything. Yeah. So we got the action adventure twins here helping us out. As you guys were like, Matt, check the oxygen. Oh, it's danger levels. Breathe huh? on it a little bit. <laughs> danger, 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 danger. And it's waterproof. It is, but <laughs> it I don't better think it's be. gonna work too well if like the little intake yeah, that clogs the water. Yeah, it's gonna be what hard to keep that thing out of the water. All right, guys. That's fucking it small. <laughs> oh. Wait, is he leaving already? Well, see, I, I thought it was D. That's water. just like a. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I don't think this is gonna uh, give us the accurate. Probably not our or right, the entire up. cave has bad air. It might. <laughs> <laughs> Get into it. Oh. 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 And they do this for fun? Who's already the end of her? Oh, God. Oh, that's... A lot further. A lot further. We're not even close. I don't know about this. I'm smaller and smaller. <laughs> As they work their way deeper and deeper into the cave, the passageway like becomes track. smaller and more claustrophobic. Eventually, there is barely even room to breathe above the murky water. This is when the exploration goes horribly wrong. Oh, really hard. I need my head. Well, this is where we're at right now. Yeah, this is intense. <laughs> I love that they're saying this is intense. Yeah, because that makes, you heard feel, that yet, that makes me feel good because I was scared in here and I'm like, what if these guys just come in and they're like, oh, this is a piece of cake. Let's climb it. Yeah. <laughs> No, this, this is a little, a little rough. Yeah. <laughs> I feel the rope on my foot. Oh. So much water in my ears. Yeah, same. Oh, man. Water in my eyes. <laughs> Snorkel would be nice right by now. <laughs> yeah. I got so much water in my head. Good time. Good time. What is the point of this? Yeah, Yo, this is why. Is really no this is why. Why are they doing this shit? Is he under? Oh, hell no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I can just barely hear it right here. Uh, so loud. Oh, God. 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 Oh, he, he just bailed. Oh, shit. Yo. Oh, my God. I'm coming out. Dude, dude, what the f Alex's friend and fellow cave explorer Jacob is a little further ahead in a part of the cave that is so submerged that there's barely room to breathe. As he ducks under the murky water, Jacob becomes confused and panics, breathing in a mouthful of the dirty water. In a terrified frenzy, he tries to back out of the cave as fast as he can, but he slams into Alex, dragging him underwater too. Luckily, the two guys make it out safely with only a few scratches to remind them of the terrifying incident. This video once again goes to show that sometimes people, even your own friends, can be much scarier and more dangerous than anything paranormal. And I don't know about you, but just watching them in that cramped little tunnel gave me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> now, you can watch this entire exciting cave exploration and many wow. more over on the YouTube channel, Underground Explorers. That's wild. Hiding under the bed. In another creepy video shared to TikTok without a source, a man is woken up in the middle of the night by a strange thumping sound coming from under his bed. What happens next is absolutely horrifying. There. <laughs> The man looks under his bed but sees nothing that could explain the mysterious thumping. What the but fuck? Then, a what the thing fuck? Come sliding out from under his bed. Jesus and fuck. The video cuts. Oh my god. Now, I'm in no way claiming that this video is real. 
but it is definitely very creepy. And real or not, I'll leave that for you to decide. The Haunted the USS fuck, Salem. Man? Seth Borden from the YouTube channel Seth and Chase, Josh from Exploring Shit. with Josh, and paranormal investigator Stephen Fuck, Dillon man. from Haunted Nights join together as they set out to investigate the many reports of paranormal encounters on board the historic Navy cruiser, the USS Salem. Although the USS Salem was never involved in any military combat, it was often used as an emergency relief ship and gave medical aid to horribly injured victims both civilians and Navy crewmen. It is said that up to 400 people have died on the USS Salem throughout the years, including men, women, and children. Today, children? the Grand Historic Ship is preserved as a museum in Quincy, Massachusetts. Okay. Many visitors and employees claim to have seen or heard paranormal activity while on board the ship. Okay. The ship's caretaker, Don, explains to the group of investigators that one very active spirit on the USS Salem is that of an older sailor who they refer to as Chief. And this is, I think, where the Chief hangs out. You think the Chief is here? Well, I, I think the Chief hangs out in here now. Okay. Uh, so you would say that, like, Chief is the authoritative figure? I would say the Chief is the guardian of the ship. The Chief is, is the man who who is concerned with people disrespecting the ship and things of that nature. And yeah. When the pandemic first started and I started working at home, I let my, my hair was longer than yours. I mean, it was down to like the That's middle of my you. back. <laughs> and every time I came aboard, the chief would yank my hair. Uh, oh man. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, <laughs> the guys decide to do an EVP session to oh, try man. to communicate with the ghost known as the chief. The recorder captures some very disturbing responses. We are a what? We are something. Yeah. Clear as day. Oh, yeah. That's so yeah. vocal, yeah. too. Yeah. We do. Oh, we are. Oh, Ben, we are oh, my crazy as that... ever. What is that That's last so word? Wild. It's two syllables. Yeah. We are. Uh, we yeah, are right. alive. We are something. Do we try? Do we just sit there and try it one more time? Yeah. We Because now we've heard them, we can tell them that we can hear you. You know what okay, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, right it there. Back. All right, I'm going to do it again. Okay. We heard you say we are something. We can't understand you. Can you repeat yourself? We are what? Can the chief come down here and talk to us? Chief, if you're here watching us, can you tell us your name? Oh my god, I did it again. Bro, I don't even want to film, like, if this is, this is Every question. Oh my god. No. Bro, I don't want to film. That's oh scary. my Bro. god. Yo, oh, we got some. Yeah? Yeah, I, gotta, I just gotta show you this. Oh, I'm never yeah. one to, like, show off evidence to, like, people until, like, we leave, but, like, I, I, I just want, I just want to show you this. Yeah, we want, like, the raw yeah. reaction to this. Yeah, we've heard that before. You've heard them get pissed off like this before? The group believes that they might have made contact with the entity known as the Chief, and it seems that they have really pissed him off. Next, they investigate the mess hall, a large room that is said to be where the Chief appears the most. Using an Ovilus device and an EVP recorder, the group questions the spirits that haunt the ship. And this is when things in. get downright creepy. Who's following us here? And why are you screaming? Helpless. Helpless. They're helpless. Oh, we're helpless. That's way worse. <laughs> Some touch. My hair just got touched. I literally oh. just felt my hair get. He said every time he came out of here, he got his hair pulled. When he I'm okay. Hair. My hair was longer than yours. I mean, it was down to like the middle of my back. Longer than yours. And every time I came aboard, the chief would yank my hair. Uh, if you saw it on camera, but I, I felt it. Holy shit. That was when I got it. Yeah, well, mind you. Oh, good point. Flashlight's on. Flashlight's on. Helpless. Helpless. They're helpless. Oh, we're helpless. Just like what happened to the ship's caretaker, Don, something seems to touch Seth's hair. But that's not all they captured. 
Now, so before hilarious. this next clip, it should be mentioned that the ghost of a young girl and her mother are also said to haunt the USS Salem. When the explorers review their footage, it seems like they might have encountered one of these spirits without even knowing. Maybe we should. Alice. Alice? Alice? Alice. Woman's name, right after we heard Can a woman's we voice. Did you see it? If you watch closely, you can see a figure that looks like a girl in a long skirt walking in the background. Alice. Alice? Alice? Alice. Alice. A woman's name, right after we heard a woman's voice. Alice? Alice? I don't know. So did the group make contact with the chief? Or, well, did the chief make contact with Seth? And is this the ghost of one of the women who haunt the ship? I leave it up to you to decide. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channels, gotcha. Seth and Chase, Exploring with Josh, and Haunted Nights. The Waiting Room. Trixie Joy Velasco from Davao, Philippines is in the hospital giving birth to her oh, daughter oh. while her fiance Dave is waiting in an empty hospital ward nearby. While waiting, he sees something that sends a chill down his spine. What? What the hell? Oh, shit. There's no one in the room, but as Dave looks under the bed, two legs can be seen standing at the other side of the room. He looks up, and again, there's no one there. I'm not that Dave sick. Dave is pretty freaked out. I'm so not. did he accidentally capture evidence of the paranormal? Or just who or what do these legs belong to? Playtime is over. Lorelai Gonzalez from La Paz, Uruguay that's, says that the 10 year old daughter of one of her family members recorded a very creepy video while she was playing in her bedroom. The young girl is proudly showing off her brand new kitchen playset to the camera when suddenly she gets the scare of a lifetime. Oh, God, Nope. You know that shit's about to do some like fucking backflip or some shit. Nope. Yep. Fuck you. You're gonna burn. Nope. And you know the kids are just like, it's my friend. Look at it, look at it. Yeah. Why don't you take your camera? This game, you're not ready for it. A creepy little doll seems to push over a plastic cup. The girl is a little confused but shrugs it off and continues showing her playset. Okay. Then the doll's arm lifts up and falls back down all on its own. The girl makes a run for it, flipping her camera and yelling for mama. According to Lorelai, the video was recorded years ago and the girl is now 14 years old. But she is still freaked out by yeah, this whole incident. They have no idea how the doll could have moved That's by hilarious. itself. So this creepy recording remains a mystery to this day. That has to be the dad. Off the wall. Six months ago, Reddit user AMRV5 moved into an old apartment along with her two right. roommates. Since then, posters, pictures, and basically yep. anything they hang on their walls will frequently just fall to the floor for unknown reasons. This has happened so often okay. that the three roommates are starting to get a bit freaked out. One night, Reddit user AMRV5 is all alone okay. in her apartment. Something happens that is truly bizarre. Let's see. Maybe their neighbors are just getting it on in the bedrooms right there. What the? A picture frame on the wall rocks back and forth on its own. Then the desk chair slowly moves yeah. to face her. The video cuts out there because Reddit user AMRV5 is so terrified that she hurries off to the kitchen to wait for her roommates to come home. 
Now, after posting her video to Reddit, shocked viewers ask if there might be a more logical explanation. For okay. example, maybe the air vent above the picture is simply causing a draft. So AMRV5 explains that her thermostat is set to turn the heat on at around 4 p.m. every day, and that this could possibly cause an air current. So the next day, just before 4 p.m., she grabs her phone and records nice. the vent. Um, this is our vent test. Uh, we have about uh, a minute until the heat's supposed to cycle on. Um, we're gonna see if that does anything uh, to move, a, move the picture frame. Well, how do you know if it... Okay. You can't just see air. Oh, is that her air coming on? <laughs> Maybe it doesn't like the heat. I mean, you know. Um. Uh, he did not come on yet. Which makes this kind of convenient, but. While waiting for the heat to come on, there's a loud bang at the door. When AMRV5 goes to check it out, she finds that a shoe has fallen down the steps. But then, another loud bang, this time from inside her apartment. All right, she hurries well, back in right. and finds that the picture frame has fallen completely off the wall. So what do you think is going on know. here? Could Reddit user AMRV5's apartment actually be haunted? Yeah. I leave it up to you yeah, or to decide. Wants, you know, lower rent. Bad vibes. Popular Czech ghost hunter Danny Threeman from the YouTube channel TV Twix and his friend Dominic set out to investigate an old abandoned laboratory in okay. the Czech Republic. The building is a source of controversy and tragedy as unsuspecting employees of the laboratory were forced to undergo horrible experiments to test and study dangerous chemicals. Okay. In some cases, these chemicals were fatal. Now, years later, locals claim that the spirit of one of these employees still haunts the building still afraid and still angry it's around 4 a.m when danny and dominic find a room with a single bed frame possibly a bed that belonged to one yeah, of the lab like employees the frame my dad they has. activate their rim pod device and quickly realize that something is not quite right these guys look like very chris angelie I'm not saying he's fake, I'm just... Like, it's too polished for just, like, kids who are just, you know? Maybe, they, maybe they're just having Kamu. sex, and, um, you know what I'm saying? So... Okay, my tady tuto místnost opustíme. Necháme tě tady v klidu, nebudeme se ptát na další dotazy. Nevíme kámo, co se tomu dotyčnímu stalo, proč je tady. A jdeme odsaď opravdu. Ty píto! Ty píto! Kámo, to si děláš prd, to vole. Kámo. To šlo po mně, kde bylo, kámo. Ty krávo, kámo, sedem na to, sedem na to. The bed frame seems to vibrate, triggering the rim pod device. And the bed suddenly moves toward Danny. The two investigators stay calm, but when the bed aggressively slides across the room, they just get out of there. Yeah. 
Mom. After gathering their courage, Mom. they decide to investigate Mom. the building's laboratory. This lab was the site of many horrible experiments and tests that were conducted on the building's employees. Danny starts to ask questions to try to get a response from the paranormal presence in the building. For around I don't know, they, they 20 just minutes look like or so, nothing much happens. Shit, you know? it's not then like... things take a terrifying turn. Like, I used to do ghost with my friends, it and it wasn't even like this. It was like... Hey, guess what we can do? Did anybody know you? So they just asked us to stay and... Pak se samozřejmě zeptáme na nějaké otázky, <laughs> proč tu jste, ale jako upřímně nevím, přijeme, že už tady jsme asi 15-20 minut. Přístroje, zatím nic. Trošku jsme to tady přeorganizovali, by tady byla lepší energie, ale... Kam? Viděl jste? Co? Co? Neřejte se, hejba, kde byl. Je to vidět na tom videu, nebo ne? I don't believe this. Like something about them is not like. You know. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think they're real. I think they like. What is this shit over here? I don't know. It's a chain. It's. It goes like this. I don't know. Did you move it? I didn't move it. Did you move it? I don't know. I, I don't do anything. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. I don't know. But that, yeah. Kámo, takže to zase volej. Kámo. Hej, já bych si s tím dal. Kámo, čekuj, čekuj, čekuj. Was there? Já jste vidět lidi, a ta židle se fucking klá, kde byl. Kde to vidět, kámo? Kámo, já to štěch nízko. Já to přiblížím, kámo. Já jsem chtěl vidět, že fakt nikdo nic ničím nejdáme. Because there was a girl in the corridor, and it was just too good of a shot. Like, it was just too good of a shot. I don't believe this. You're not going to get me. A metal chain swings back and forth by itself. A chair moves and vibrates, much like the bed frame they discovered earlier. And did you see it? But did you see it? Most terrifying of all, the strange translucent figure of a woman in a dress seems to walk across the hallway. Yeah. The TV Twix team doesn't the realize way, what their camera has captured. Look at that. The and way it disappears, it's like chair, that's a video. They continue like, to investigate. That's effects. Moving that's to a new not, location with nah. an absolutely gruesome past. Nah. The incubator room. According to local legend, a man was nah, tied up and tortured shit. to death in the back of this room. As Danny is telling uh, the story, look at this jacket. He looks like a Michael Jackson son. He's a piano. Or what's his name? Pillow. Oh, I'm not going to go to the incubator. I'm going to go to the incubator. I'm going to go to the Yeah, they look like they bullshit for a living. What? Look at the door. It's the door. It's opening. I don't... Did you open it with your hands? Is this a joke? Is this a joke? What the hell is going on? To be honest... Watch, you're gonna see the same lady or something. I didn't know he was behind me. I, I, I did not know. You focus here, you don't see that. See, this is too obvious. Like, it's... That guy with the black, he looks like a ghost. Come on! Hey, come on, we should have prepared. Hey, come on, we should have prepared. Come on, we should have prepared. Come on, we should have prepared. So hard to do this. Come on, no, let's go. We need to get out of here. To see your spread, come on, to shoot and never show the hitty tohle. The TV Twix guys have had enough. The two investigators grab their Wait, what are they called? Twix? And just head home. <laughs> like, like Twix so the chocolate bar? So did Danny and Dominic capture proof of the it paranormal? It is Twix. Could this be the spirit it's... of one of the employees that <laughs> suffered horrible experiments here? What? 
Why? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It's a hoax. You decide. It's a hoax. The ghost in the garage. This next creepy video was reposted to the internet without a source. Allegedly, a woman named Sarah is recording a video okay. after she notices strange activity inside her neighbor's garage. What makes the footage so creepy is that her neighbors are not home. They're away on vacation, leaving both their home and garage completely gotcha. empty. This is the video. Yeah, they just have a busted uh, light or something. What was that? What the fuck? What? You know, I have a question. Why the fuck are you even like, don't you have something to do? God, that's such a nosy neighbor. <laughs> Literally, it's just like the lady working out. Uh, uh, she's looking at me. A light flickers and something seems to quickly race back and forth inside the garage. I mean, Whatever it is, then stops and peeks out at her, staring right at Sarah before quickly disappearing out of sight. Now, without a source, it's impossible to know exactly what's going on here. But whatever this is, moves at a speed that's just a little too fast for a normal human being. She's trying to beat a record. So what do you think this is? Let me know. Uh, uh, there you have it. We watched that Nukes Top 5, and I reacted to it. It was all right. There was, a, like, you know, a scary point or whatever. That's, you know, that's just how it goes. So, I guess, follow me, subscribe, click the notification. You know what to do. Um, also, I'll be reacting to a whole bunch of stuff. So, you know, follow your boy. Until next time.